You see, the reality is that uncertainty is always a part of life, virus or no virus. The coronavirus has unleashed a wave of panic across the country. Seven states just today reporting their first cases of the coronavirus. It's, it's unbelievable. There is no other word to describe it. People kept saying what is happening right now is more than just the virus. It is a symbol of where we are as a community, where we are as a species, where we are in our consciousness. Do we move into fear? and panic and think about ourselves and stockpile our basements with things that the elderly need or that the people at risk need. This is a marker to who we are as a humanity. I'm not asking you to stop what you're doing, but I'm asking you to pause, to think about this in a different way. You see, uncertainty, doubt, panic about the future is irretrievably a part of life. The coronavirus is just highlighting this in the most acute way. You know, if in every moment we knew which person just had an accident on the road today and we kept getting these notices on social media, we would be in the same kind of panic and we wouldn't go out and drive. So now let's use this virus as an opportunity to enter into a higher state of consciousness where we let go of our anxieties about the future and understand that the only way to live life is in the present moment. I'm not asking you to not take precautions. I'm asking you to think about this in a new way as an opportunity to not spiral into fear, but instead to elevate into a higher consciousness, to not separate out of mass hysteria and anxiety, but instead to further unify, to strengthen and embolden ourselves as a one species so that we can together be interdependent in our presence with each other and our connectivity with each other. Let's use this moment in time to elevate, to rise and to unify.